Hi, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. So, yeah, I'm late, but better late than never. I'm still going to put your April 28th, 2022 reading out there. Okay. So, I'm going to go into your energy and then go into the whatever it is that's coming towards you. Um, please try to understand that this could be a couple of days in advance or a couple of days behind. You guys, I had an, um, my best friend called me. There was an emergency today. And so... I had to go towards uh, her. So that's why I'm a little delayed, but it's okay. It's okay. April 28, 2022. Let's see what's going to Pisces energy. Let's see what's going on. Hopefully you get some type of understanding, okay, healing, clarity out of this message. All right. Let's go into Pisces energy. All right, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus in your energy. Okay, for some of you guys, I get this energy that you're manifesting. I don't know why I heard, but I heard that you're manifesting a husband. Some of you guys are manifesting a husband, manifesting a ring, manifesting a commitment. Um, you That's what I'm hearing. You, This is like, maybe you guys are manifesting your husband back. Maybe you guys desire your husband back. Or desire a husband, a committed relationship. Yeah, it's almost like you don't want something to end. Yeah, you're manifesting something to not end. With the death card here, like you're manifesting, avoiding an ending and an opportunity in love with somebody from your past or a past life relationship. So make connection, um, someone who you may have like, uh, may not be communicating with or the communication is not the same in this present moment. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. So you have King of Pentacles energy, right? What's coming towards you? What's coming towards you? For some of you guys, if it's not in love, then it's definitely as regards to like finances. It could be your own boss. But for some of you guys, this could actually be your own um, security within yourself. You know, some type of security for yourself. Or maybe you want to manifest security from someone. You know, you want to manifest someone with security in your life. You're trying to manifest a masculine or feminine energy. This looks like a masculine energy with the king of pentacles here, but it could be masculine or feminine. You're trying to manifest something secure in your life, secure for you. Something stable, something grounded in what's coming towards you. Oh, wow. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, you guys, this is crazy. Over our energy, the magician. Whoa. For some of you guys, there's a married couple, married men, married women. There's married. There's some type. There's a perfect pair. I've never seen this before. This is crazy coming out. What's coming towards you may even be someone who's, uh, you know, they're not commitment material. You know, they're not someone who's committed. They're not someone who's grounded. They're not someone who's doting. And it's not someone, you know, that you feel secure with. But you are giving this energy. So it doesn't matter because you're giving out this energy of security. Okay. <clears throat> Whatever's coming towards you lacks security. They're not stable. They're not grounded. They, they don't bring some type of security here to your life in some way. All right. <laughs> this person is being manifested. Oh, wow. This is so different. What advice do I have to give to you in regards to this person? Um, because what you need to know is that you're obviously portraying this energy of security. You're portraying the same energy. You're actually living this energy. You're becoming this energy. And so you're attracting something to you that is just the same, but it's just that there's needing to be more work on that situation or that person. So give me two cards upright. What advice do I need to get to Pisces in regards to this situation? Yeah, the star. Okay. I'm hearing circumstances doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is about you staying positive. 
detaching from an outcome or detaching from the situation or detaching from what you're seeing in this person. It's kind of weird. It's almost like, well, if you see this person, um, if you see right now and you're looking with your naked eye that this person is not financially stable, you don't have to believe that. Whatever it is that you believe, you can achieve. So whatever it is that you're seeing, that you're believing, that you're choosing to believe about this person is how you're going to manifest. It's the magician again. I just said that is how you're going to manifest this person. And then the nine, nine of pentacles, you're going to manifest. Oh. Circumstances doesn't matter. I don't care if this person is married. I don't care if this person is attached to a married person. You're going to manifest this person um, to be single. I, I don't. I don't care. You're going to manifest this person to be single and committed to you. Or the, period. Period. Let me see. Give me more. <laughs> Get it. Spirit, please give me one more card. What advice do I need to get to my beautiful Pisces? So definitely stay positive. Three of cups. Over our energy, nine of cups, wish fulfillment. This is what you wanted, Pisces. This is what you're, man you're manifesting what you want. You're manifesting what you want. You're not letting anybody, anything, any person get in your way. Okay, they're saying stay positive, stay positive, stay positive. Continue to wish, like you have to stay in like a wishful type of energy and a like a, a really positive energy in regards to this wish or what it is that you are desiring, strongly desiring with the three of cups. This is so positive. This is so positive. This is like being in the present moment with the three of cups. Like being in the present moment, Pisces. Like you're gonna get this. This, you know what's so crazy? I feel like this person wants to have this person wants to have a reunion here with you, but they may not be um putting in the energy and effort, or they may not be showing that um in a way like that may not be coming off, or it may not be something that's um that's emitting from their energy that they want this reconciliation or they want to be around you. But I promise you this person wants to be around you, they want to be in your energy, um, they want to be your friend, they want to be your lover, they want to be um reunited here with you, re-engaged to you, remarried to you is what I'm hearing. This person wants to marry you again with the three of cups. So all you have to do, this is like you detaching and remaining positive, hopeful, having faith that you're going to have this reunion. You need to have so much faith in this to the point where you're like becoming this energy. You're literally, this is becoming your emotions that this is already happening. Like, oh my God, we're remarried. Like, I can't believe we got remarried. Oh my God. We're back together again. This is like, I mean, we're back together again. <laughs> okay, anyways, I hope that I was able to assist or help someone or continue to keep you happy and positive and just clear in whatever it is that you have going on. Okay, so anyways, Pisces, take care. Love you guys. Mwah.